Minecraft officially now has camels, a new mob that has been added with the 120 update. And we're gonna build a cozy camel sanctuary for them so they can live their best lives. Welcome back everyone to the chill survival series, now let's get started. So we've had a couple really restful days at our new cherry cottage, but I think it's finally time for us to go on home. Now before we head out, let's make sure to grab some of the stuff that we got from the cherry biome. We definitely want to bring home some of these saplings, let's grab some leaves, and maybe a stack of the petals. That way we have all of the items we need so we can build the cherry wood back at home. Now before we make the full journey back, I figured we should go on a little bit of a detour. We're pretty far out from our base, which means we might have a chance of being close to a desert. And in the desert lives the new mobs, the camels. So I figured today we could find a couple to bring them home with us so we can build a cute camel sanctuary. Given that we're able to find a saddle today, because I didn't bring one with me. We'll have some exploring to do, but I think we'll be able to find some. Alright, I don't really have much of a plan in how to find a desert. I'm just picking a direction and going with it. And hopefully we come across one. Oh no, I just realized I forgot my bed. Uh, sheep, sheep. Here we go, here we go. Nice. Also, we have hit a savanna, and it's not really big, but that's still a good sign that we're near a desert. So I'm feeling pretty confident in this. All right, we've hit the jungle. Another good sign, another good sign. Hey, my dude, what's going on? You see a desert anywhere? All right, let me ask that again. Have you seen a desert anywhere? Oh, you have? That way? Thanks, homie. I appreciate it. I really hope I'm not being lied to by that chicken. Although that sadly wouldn't be the first time it's happened. But in the meantime, we'll just keep trekking this way and hope for the best. Oh, <gasps> the chicken didn't lie. Wow, did I finally make a friend back there? Ooh, dead bushes. These are always great for decoration, so I will be grabbing some of these as well. And maybe some of this cactus. Okay, okay, enough distractions. We need to find a village because the camels live with the villagers. Not exactly sure why they would choose them as roommates, but hey, it's fine. Maybe they get a good discount on rent or something. Ooh, there's also a mesa here. Oh, I really need to find a village, but this orange sand would look great with the camel sanctuary that we're building today. So it can't hurt to spend a couple extra moments grabbing some of this. And since we're already here, let's grab some of this orange terracotta as well, since it pairs really nicely with that orange sandstone. All right, I think we've got enough of these blocks. Now let's go find these camels. There's gotta be a village around here somewhere. <gasps> there we go, a desert village. There's a camel. Look at him, oh, look at his ears. They're wiggling. Why are they so cute? I need to get closer. Whoa, look at you go. Yep, you are the coolest thing I've ever seen. Don't tell the sniffers I said that though. They'll be kind of sad. Oh, what's that? You do want to go live in a camel sanctuary back in my base? Well, okay then. All right, then it's settled. This guy is going to be one of the residents of our camel sanctuary. See, look at how happy and content he is with this decision. But in order to get this guy out of here, there is a slight issue. I, uh, kind of forgot a lead and a saddle. So we're going to have to maybe find one. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many villager children around here? What is going on? All right, let's poke around here and see if we can find any leads or anything in here. I don't think they're typically in village chests, though. You know what would be ideal? If a wandering trader showed up. It would be really nice if he came here and made himself useful for once, which means it's never gonna happen. Wait, what's that over there? That looks like one of those desert wells. Could there be saddles in these? Or is that only in the temple ruins? I don't know, but we should check it out. Okay, let's get rid of this water first. I'm not sure there's a chest, but there is suspicious sand here. Ooh, there's actually a lot of it. I don't have copper to make a brush though, but we are next to a big cave, which probably has copper. <gasps> there's some right there. <gasps> ah, oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, that was really risky. Why, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Honestly, kind of swag though. All right, I'll take this, except I won't take it because my inventory is full, but I will take it now. And I'll take some of this. And let's grab some of this coal so we can actually burn the copper. Now we'll pop this in and we'll burn up a couple pieces. Three should be enough. So we've got our copper and our sticks to make the brush. However, we're missing one key component to make this, which is a feather of a chicken. Uh, uh, are there any chickens around here potentially? Because the last chicken I saw, I kind of made friends with and you know, that's, that's just going to get really awkward and really sad. Uh, I don't think there's like a single chicken in this village. Oh, I don't want to do this, but... Drift, what are you doing? Listen, man, I need a feather, okay? Think about it, man. I gave you directions the other day, and I didn't lie, even though I was considering it. Because honestly, the first impression of you, Drift, you kind of stink. Yeah, I know, I know. But I appreciate your honesty. I don't want to do this, man. I don't want to do this. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't. You see Glenn over there? Uh, yeah? 
Well, he told me that your cargo shorts look stupid. What? You said that, dude? What the heck? All right, so we got our feather, which means we can now make our brush. So let's combine our copper, our feather, and our stick, and now we've got a brush. All right, and let's go back in here and start sweeping up this sand and see what we get. Where'd it go? Is that a brick? I think that was just a brick. All right, what's this? Oh, is this a shard? Whoa! So we got our very first pottery shard. Now, if you combine these with a bunch of bricks, you get a decorated pot. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that little guy. So cute. Now, there are different combinations you can do on the crafting table with the shards. So you can have multiple designs on a pot. But yeah, this thing's looking real cool. Now, there doesn't seem to be anything else in here. And honestly, that's probably a good thing because I'm getting kind of distracted with all of this stuff. So we still need to solve the issue of bringing these camels home. And since the wandering trader has not made an appearance yet, I'm thinking maybe we need to go find a temple ruin so we can get a saddle. Hey, if there was a village around here, I think that means there's got to be a temple ruin somewhere close by as well. Oh, I think that's a temple. Yeah, it's a little bit buried into the ground, but I think we can figure this out. Okay, so I think this is the part with the TNT. Probably best not to step on that. So we're just going to dig our way down next to it. Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, let's just rip up this floor first because this TNT is a little bit concerning. All right, please let one of these chests have a saddle in it. Uh, we got thorns. Okay. I, I mean, I guess, I guess that's good. What about you? Ooh, a diamond. Okay, okay, some gold. My inventory's getting a little bit full now. And still no saddle. Oh, come on. All right, last one. Please don't do me dirty. Please. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, no luck here. I don't know why and I don't know how, but I feel inclined to believe that this is the wandering trader's fault. All right, well, I guess we better just go on and look for another temple so we can find some saddles. All right, I found another one and hopefully this one's gonna have what we need. Are we gonna have any luck with these chests? I really hope so. Ooh, we've got smithing templates. Oh, <gasps> we can make armor trims with these. All right, we've also got some horse armor, but I don't know if you can use that on camels. I'm thinking it's a no. What do we got in here? Oh, more horse armor. Aspiration, not bad. Here? Oh, nothing. Last one. What? No. How is this happening? I mean, the armor trims are really cool. However, I'm having no luck whatsoever finding a saddle. I feel like that's an item that's not a rare drop in these temples. So I don't know what kind of luck I'm having today, but it's bad. All right, I did drop off some of my items after the first temple that we hit, so we do have a little bit more space to explore. So I say we test our luck and try to find one more. All right, temple number three. Is this gonna be the one? I sure hope so. Please don't do me dirty. Okay, the moment of truth. Oh, great, horse armor. <laughs> Golden apple, okay, that's actually good though. Emeralds, last one. <gasps> A saddle, we got at least one, I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, we found one. Ah, oh no, oh, please no, no, I beg. Ah. Oh, oh, that was really scary. All right, I'm done. I'm getting out of here. Let's go back to that village. You know what? I've kind of been thinking about it. What if we just keep the camel sanctuary in the desert? I'm not even sure that the forest that we're living in is a suitable place for a camel to live. And also, I've got to be honest, if I bring a camel back, the sniffers are probably going to get pretty jealous. Plus, this desert is actually pretty close to our cherry cottage getaway. So it'd be pretty easy for us to access this place. How about that, buddy? What do you think? You want to stay here? Yeah, okay. So we did finally get our saddle for this camel. So let's put that on. And now we can finally ride him and move him to his soon-to-be sanctuary. Heck yeah. I am so high up on the ground. Look at me. Out of my way, villagers. I've got a sanctuary to build. This is so cool. So we've got ourselves a camel. The one problem is, though, he doesn't have a name. So let me know in the comments what you think our first camel should be named. And your name might have a chance to be chosen. All right, buddy, let's find you the perfect spot for this sanctuary. I mean, it's all desert, so it's pretty flat to begin with. But this area looks kind of suitable. Got lots of cactus and sugarcane around it. We've got some water for some sippies. Now, the only problem is, can you swim? This might not go well. Oh, this might go well. This might not go well. Oh, no. Oh, he does not like that. No, don't go that way. Go this way. Come on, get. Okay, we got this. We got this. Ooh. Don't drown. All right, all right. We made it. This is perfect. Yeah, this looks like a pretty nice flat spot of land for us to build something. All right, what do you think, buddy? Is this your spot? Well, you're sitting, so you seem to like it. Listen, buddy, I gotta keep you safe. So for now, I'm gonna have to build this around you, okay? All right, so now that we have the perfect spot picked out and our camel safe and sound, we need to gather up some materials for this build. 
And we're going to start that by going back to this cherry cottage where I forgot some of the essential items that we need to build this. So we're going to need some of these guys because I want to use a lot of azalea leaves. And of course, spruce pairs really nicely with sandstone. So we're going to have to grab some of this too. Now, in order to make these saplings grow, we're going to need a lot of this bone meal, which I'm really thankful that I ended up bringing. As you can see, the last project we did, I brought way too much. But hey, it's coming handy now. Now, some of you might be wondering, Drift, why didn't you bring that camel with you? It has a saddle and it gives you better mobility. And I've got to be honest, I hate riding horses in this game and I think camels would be the same. They usually get all stuck up in those leaves and trees and it's just a mess to bring them around, especially over water as well. So I figured it would be better to solo this mission. All right, we are back in the desert and hopefully that's the last time we need to make this trip for a while. Although we've been exploring for a couple days and I am starting to run a little bit low on food, but that's okay because they seem to have a pretty good stockpile here. Sharing is caring, right fellas? He didn't look too happy about that. All right, and we are back at our soon-to-be camel sanctuary. How you holding out, buddy? Oh, glad to hear it. All right, let's start off by bone mealing some of these saplings so we can collect some resources from these trees. We're gonna need a fair amount of spruce. Next, let's grab a bunch of azalea leaves because we're gonna need lots of those as well. And then finally, let's start leveling off this sand so we have enough space to build our sanctuary. Plus, we can use some of this to build with. It also doesn't hurt to grab some extra sandstone as well. This stuff is so satisfying to rip up with a good pickaxe. All right, so I think for the most part, we pretty much have all the materials we need to build this. Now, the only thing that's really left to do is start burning this sandstone so we have some smooth sandstone to build with. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's mark out some of the spots where we wanna build. So I kind of want this thing to be a big open area where the camels can roam free. So I thought it would look kind of neat if it was enclosed with a bunch of fencing and azalea leaves, but some towers and buildings as well. So let's start off this shape by marking out some of the builds that we're gonna place down. So let's do maybe a tower right here. And then from here, let's maybe go about 17 blocks down and then we'll place a building right around here. So these two pieces are a little bit off center and they're gonna connect with fencing and azalea leaves. Next, I'm gonna want an entrance so I can easily get in and out of this sanctuary, which means I'm gonna have to patch this up really quickly. And for this entrance, what we can do is we can leave a little bit of a gap here so we can enter through a gate and we'll give ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll place a tower in line with this build. And for the final building, we're going to place one close to that tower that we have in the back. And we'll just change up the shape a little bit too. All right, so this is the placement of the builds that we have so far. And it may not look like much yet, but this is going to help us outline the footprint of the sanctuary. So to give this build its shape, let's start outlining the sanctuary with the azalea leaves and fencing. And we're just going to go in a loose circular shape. And with the leaves put down, this is what the shape is looking like. Now that the leaves are in place, we can put the spruce fencing in on top. These should give enough height so the camels can't wander out of the sanctuary. Plus, I think they're a really nice aesthetic detail as well. All right, the border's in place, it's looking good, and I'm hoping it is camel proof. I really don't want any of these guys to escape. We'll find out soon enough though. So now that the border's done, it's time for us to work on the actual structures. And it looks like our sandstone is finally done. But let's pop a little bit more in here just in case we need it. Okay, let's start things off by building up this back tower over here. So we're gonna get rid of this footprint and replace it with some cut and chiseled sandstone. And for the next layer, we're gonna use some orange sandstone and orange terracotta. Then we're gonna build up by three blocks with some regular sandstone. Next, let's throw down another layer of orange terracotta and sandstone. And then we'll top this all off with another layer of the classic sandstone. And this is what the tower's looking like so far. Now, I feel like it could be cool if we replace some of this with some regular sand to add a little bit more texture. Yeah, I think that's looking good. All right, we need to give this thing a nice trim on top. So let's do some stairs in the corners. We'll get some cut sandstone on top of these guys. And then some slabs in between these. There, that's looking real nice. The last thing that we need to do is pop this out put a stair here, and then get a spruce fence right in there for our window. And I think that's a pretty cute looking tower. All right, in the next build, we're gonna start off the same by replacing this orange terracotta with some sandstone. And on the bigger part of the structure, we're gonna take this wall up by four blocks. And the smaller one on the side here is gonna go up by three blocks only. And we'll knock out a spot for a door here, a window here, another window here, and why not one more? which means we gotta get our upside down stairs in over top of all of these guys. 
including the door. And I did forget again, but let's replace some of this stuff with some regular sand to add a little bit more texture to this. Is it raining or something here? What is going on? All right, so for this one, we're gonna do an orange trim around the top as well. And now let's finish off the top of this build with a layer of cut sandstone and slabs. And yeah, this is all really coming together. So the back two are done and are looking great, which means we just have the front two left to do. And they're pretty much gonna be the same thing as the back two builds. However, tower's gonna go here and building's gonna go right here. So let's spend some time building these guys up. Yeah, I think that this is looking really good so far. I made this tower slightly bigger than the one behind it, just to give a little bit more prominence to the entrance of the build. And then for this one, it's very basic right now, but we're gonna have to add a lot of detail to it, same with the gate. But other than that, the shape is all done and I think it's looking great. So now all we really have to do is add a bunch of details to the build. All right, in order for us to be able to start the detailing, there's one more block that I want. While I was building up the sanctuary, I kind of thought that acacia wood would look really nice next to all of our orange blocks that we have. Plus the acacia doors fit really nicely with this theme as well. Honestly, acacia leaves are really crispy and nice looking, so let's grab some of these too. Maybe we can use them in our build if they fit the vibe. All right, a stack and a bit should be more than enough for what we need. Plus, we also got some saplings in case we need to grow more back at the sanctuary. So I think we're good to head back. So we're back at the sanctuary with all of the materials that we need so we can begin detailing this thing. Now let's start off by getting some spruce buttons on these upper trims. Cause spruce pairs very nicely with the orange terracotta and sandstone. Next, let's put in a lean-to on the front of this build. And we'll just use this area to store some hay and barrels. All right, now that that's done, it's time for us to move on to the front entrance of this sanctuary. Now, we definitely need to have a gate here so the camels can't escape. And let's put in a nice acacia trim on top. These kind of got in the way of the gate, so let's switch up the pattern really quickly. There we go, that's looking a lot better. So we've got our gate in place, and now I think it would look really nice if we did a little bit of like a floral overhang going from this side of the build over onto the tower. So I'm just gonna alternate between spruce fencing and azalea leaves, and slowly slope up until we reach the top of the tower. Yes, this is really starting to come together. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Oh. Why are they so much scarier in the desert? Anyway, I was just admiring this little overhang design and I think it's looking pretty good. So I love having a gate to enter this area, but I feel like it would look really cool if we had a door going in from here with a door coming out the other side like this. Can also pop out a window right here and get our acacia doors in place like this. Yeah, I think having an alternate entrance like that is really cool. All right, now onto this house because I definitely forgot to put a door on this thing. This thing can also have some spruce flooring on the inside and then the acacia door right here. Perfect. Bouncing back to the front of this build, I feel like it would also look really cool to hang some lanterns off of chains right here. Then we could also have a few loose chains hanging down as well. Could also probably pop a lantern here and a lantern here. If we have that much lighting though, maybe we'll get rid of this guy. So now we've got three in total and I think that looks really cute. And to finish off the front entrance, I feel like having a big pot with some azalea bushes would look really nice. There we go, looking real fresh. All right, so this is done and now all I really have to do is decorate a little bit more on the inside before we move the camels in. And we're of course gonna have to wait and see what they want in the sanctuary because it is theirs after all. So let's finish up some of the details that we want before we get these guys in here. All right, I think the decorations for us are all done. So I pretty much just made this back build an area for us to be able to sleep when we visit the camels. So it's got a cozy little bed, some decorations, and some storage. Now you may have noticed there's still a lot to be done out here, but that's because we gotta find out what the camel would like. All right, my dude, it is time to set you free from here. Let's bring you on over to your little sanctuary. Oh, I hope he likes it. Just through here, are you gonna fit? No, no, okay. Uh, gate not working. Can we hop this though? Whoa! Yes, okay, perfect. An alternate method, but it worked. All right, homie, you get to decide what you want in here. It can be anything you want. You want a friend to hang out with? Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about that. You're really lonely, aren't you, buddy? All right, buddy, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna temporarily take this saddle off of you. And I'm gonna go find you a friend because what is a sanctuary without some pals? All right, let's go see if we can find this dude a friend. I think I see torches. Yes, we've got another village. 
All right, there's got to be a camel around here somewhere. Where are you hiding him? Uh, hmm, camel, camel, camel. All right, I've searched around for a bit and I actually... <gasps> Wait! No, he's right there! Oh my gosh, I was ready to give up. Do you, by chance, want to come to my camel sanctuary? There's another camel there. You could be best friends. Not super enthusiastic, but I'll take that as a yes. All right, let's get a saddle on ya. And we've got ourselves another camel friend. Bye, stinky villagers. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this sanctuary. All right, buddy, there it is off in the distance. Say hello to your new home. To get in, though, we gotta hop this fence like a couple baddies. Yeah. Nameless camel, meet other nameless camel. Oh, a little bit shy, I see. That's okay, that's okay. You'll both warm up to each other. No sweat. Friendship takes time, it's okay. All right, buddy, what would you like to see in this sanctuary? You want a place to cool off? Okay, you got it. And you, facing the wall? You want a power drill? Okay, well, I literally don't have access to that, but you seem to like the shade, so how about I plant you a tree so you can sit under it? Giving me the cold shoulder? Okay, I see how it is. It's fine. Boy, I'm trying really hard not to take this personally. All right, before we build out the things for our camels, I'm first gonna build out a path so we can more easily distinguish where everything's gonna go. And let's use some coarse dirt for some nice contrast against the sand. Yeah, I think this is looking really good. So one of the things that the camels wanted was shade, and I think where this camel is sitting right now is the perfect spot. All right, buddy, I'm gonna have to shift you over a little bit. Now uh, you're just like, you're, you're just staying put. Come on. He's going now, he's going. All right, what if we got a tree right around here? Hopefully this grows the direction that we want. You know what? That's perfect. I love it. All right, shady spot acquired. You can go back now, especially because I'm just going to be building in this spot. All right, next, our camels wanted a place to cool off. And I think putting a pond in this corner would be perfect. You are exactly where I need to dig. I am sorry. There you go. Yeah, that, that's looking good. Good shape for a pond. The plan for the pool has been approved, so let's fill this guy up. Looking good, but I feel like we could use some sugarcane and cactus around the edges to make this look even nicer. And speaking of cactus, I heard that camels like cactus. Oh my gosh, they are following me around for this. So if we feed them... <gasps> a baby camel! Oh, look at how small it is! You are the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Actually, so adorable. Look at how happy you are. Look at you go. Where are you heading to, buddy? Oh, look at you run. You're too cute. You sound like a motorcycle. I'm not gonna lie. Aw, oh, look at you using the pool. I'm so happy to see that. And you're under the shade. Look at this. They're loving it here. All right, since there's three camels here now, I think I might make one more pond for them to cool off in. There we go. We got the big boy pool. And we got the kitty pool. It's perfect. And honestly, it looks like they are having the time of their life here. I think they like it. We may not have been able to get that camel the power drill they wanted, but I think we gave them a really cozy place to live. And it seems like they're all loving it. So I would say this has been a huge success. All right, everyone. I think that might be it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed today's shenanigans. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing because it really helps out the channel. In the meantime, I'm going to spend some extra time soaking up the sun here with the camels before we head back to our base. Bye, everyone!